Well, Uganda is likely to lose the opportunity of hosting the 2027 edition of the YAFCON. Uh, this is after city lawyer Malema Abirizi wrote to CAF president demanding that Uganda be disqualified from hosting the YAFCON tournament. Malema Abirizi in a letter indicated to the CAF president that there is no democracy in Uganda. For example, in the previous elections, internet was completely shut down. Very many people were killed during the campaigns. There was a lot of abductions until today. He also indicated that uh, Kampala streets are militarized. There is no free movement amidst guns. There is no freedom of assembly in Uganda. Uh, for example, they have banned meetings of the opposition, National Unity Platform Political Party and FDC Party. Well, Malema Birizi also indicated to the CAF president that there is a lot of corruption, sectarianism, and nepotism in Uganda. For example, President Museveni's wife, Janet Kataha Museveni, is the Minister of Education and Sports, and yet her academic and other creditors are not available in Parliament. Malema Birizi also said that the Federation of Uganda Football Association, FUFA, is not legitimate since practically no elections have been held for the last 10 years. Well, finally, Malema Birizi requested CAF president to reverse his decision so that Uganda is excluded from hosting the 2027 AFCON because, as a federation, they are required to stand with Ugandans during these dictatorial times as opposed to being pro-rulers. And also, the safety and rights of the participants and visitors may be highly compromised by the rogue state machinery right here in Uganda. Well, there you go. That is uh, city lawyer Malema Bedizi. Now, reactions on social media are mixed. We have those who are supporting Malema Birizi and others are saying, Neda Neda Sebo, Malema Birizi, you're very, very wrong. This is the time you've got to let the country shine. By the way, I remember in 2021, American DJ Khalid was supposed to virtually host the Mama Awards right here in Uganda, but Ugandans on social media forced him to turn down that program. Yeah, so personally, I believe when Ugandans say no to something, trust me, it's not going to happen. And uh, this time around, we don't know if they are joining Malema Berizi or not, but the Buzz UG, I'm watching very closely, and I'll be keeping you posted. My name is uh, Melad Zmilo, a.k.a. Fula. Subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. But also, don't forget to follow me the other side of TikTok. I'm using the same names, Melad Zmilo, a.k.a. Fula. It is a bye for now. Thank you. Audio jungle.